Welcome to Aspects Easy Joint, a proven product that through continuous development just keeps getting better. The following presentation gives a guide to the most common and generally recommended way of applying Easy Joint. It does, however, demand certain conditions. 1. The site is generally free draining and does not get waterlogged. 2. The bedding material is permeable and allows water to drain through. In the event that one or both of these conditions are not true for your project, please refer to www.aspects.co.uk for more detailed guidance before commencing your installation. Paving should be laid so the pavers never touch, maintaining a gap of at least 3mm wide and 25mm or more deep. If working with thinner paving, it's recommended to scrape a little of the wet base material out of the joints in order to achieve the 25mm depth. If your paving has chamfered edges, remember to maintain as a minimum a 3mm gap at the base of the joints. Again, please refer to our website for further information. The key to an excellent installation is to ensure drainage on the site is good. Water must be able to get away easily and the joints must be able to dry out as Easy Joint needs air to be able to cure and harden correctly. To apply Easy Joint, you just need a soft broom, a pointing tool and a hose with a spray nozzle. An important part of the process is to ensure that the paving is thoroughly soaked with water before and during the application. There's no risk of overwetting the paving. In fact, the wetter, the better. This is especially relevant when working with porous absorbent materials such as sandstone, limestone and granite. Spend several minutes soaking the area before you start and keep the area wet ahead of where you're working. When the area is fully soaked, cut open a bag and pour the easy joint onto the paving before wetting it to form a slurry, which will ease the jointing process. Then simply sweep and wash the easy joint over the saturated paving. Work quickly, but don't leave the compound sitting in piles or in one spot for more than a few minutes at a time. It is highly recommended that two operators work together one sweeping the compound across the paving, whilst the other uses the spray hose to wash the easy joint into the joints. Be especially mindful in warm, sunny conditions when surfaces can dry out very quickly. The water serves three purposes. Firstly, to flush the compound to the bottom of the joints. Secondly, to minimize any oil residue sitting on the surface and thirdly, to clear excess paving compound from the surface. When you've completed the first washing, top up any of the joints where the compound has sagged with more easy joint and then repeat the washing process as before, holding the hose low and at an acute angle until you've removed as much material from the surface as possible. There's no waste. Opened but unused product can be stored for later by returning it to a tub and covering it with water. We recommend you leave the joints for an hour or so to partially dry out and then, if desired, gently run a simple pointing tool or a plastic or metal pipe along the joints to strike them. This will give a smooth and pleasing, slightly concave finish. It's worthwhile considering protecting your investment with an appropriate specialised sealer, especially if you're working with more sensitive paving types such as polished sandstone, whether you're using easy joint or not. You may want to consider looking at our range of sealers and protectors for this purpose. They form part of the Easy Seal and Easy Care range, which can help in the long-term care of your paving. 
Easy joint. Rain or shine, it goes in fine. <laughs>